So it's obvious that we have a variety of uh, scientific congresses on viral hepatitis. You have these congresses really focusing on original work, um, which uh, are very important, scientifically very important, but beyond that it's incredibly important to digest these data from scientific congresses and put them into perspective. And it's really a perspective um, within all the clinical uh, trials and the new um, treatment opportunities, but also with respect to individual patients, cases, populations, certain conditions, certain clinical situations, where you really have to find your decision on uh, your, your personal clinics. And uh, this meeting is really helping a lot in bringing data originating from clinical studies into a practical perspective for our colleagues. And this is, of course, particularly interesting currently in the rapidly evolving field of chronic viral hepatitis C with dozens of drugs arriving and uh, various opportunities how to treat our patients. And the um, treatment options, however, will not only rely on the best combinations, it will also rely on the availabilities in different countries. It will rely on reimbursement policies in different countries. So we really have to discuss in a forum such as the Viral Hepatitis Congress, what is the best opportunity in each country, in each region. And there is really a lot we have to think of and to discuss. And beyond the topics of chronic viral hepatitis C, there's of course a lot going on in the hepatology field overall. There is new data emerging in hepatitis B. There is data in other hepatitis viruses like D and E, a major focus of this year's viral hepatitis congress. And of course, we have to think about all the complications related to a viral uh, infectious diseases of the liver and not only on the emergence of the complications, but also to think about the reversibility when you treat successfully the underlying diseases.